Hi and welcome to our channel, the best place to learn how to use and master Canva. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create this wavy or distorted text in Canva. I'll show you two different ways to do it. The first is completely free to do and the second one, which I believe give us more freedom or flexibility to design, is for Canva Pro users. But because we are going to be using a free feature in Canva to do this effect, anyone can follow this tutorial, no matter if you have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account. And I suggest you stay until the end so you don't miss any of the tricks that I'm going to show you today. So are you ready for this tutorial? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so here we are on my computer and uh, we are going to be using Canva for this tutorial. So you just go to canva.com and then on the homepage you will see something uh, like this, what, uh, what I'm showing you on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to create an Instagram post. So I'm going to select this um, template size just to click and then Canva is going to open uh, this empty Canva in the Canva editor. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the first step that I told you I was going to show you. The first one is completely free to use. So anyone with a Canva free account can follow these um, steps. What I'm going to do now is to add a text box. So to add a text box, I'm going to tap the key T and then I have my text box on my Canva editor. I'm going to make this slightly bigger and then I'm going to type my text. Okay, so I have my text ready here and what I'm going to do is to um, press Ctrl A or con Command A, so Ctrl A or Command A to select everything that is inside my text box. And now I'm going to click here on the uppercase uh, feature so all my text becomes uppercase automatically with just one click. Now I'm going to change the font for a bold font. I think the bold fonts uh, look better when we are going to apply this distortion or liquefied effect. Um, I think it is better to have these very bold fonts because we are going to distort the text and if we have a very thin font it will be maybe difficult to read. So that's uh, why we are selecting this uh, thick or bold font. Okay, so now that we have our text we need to triple check that it is written perfectly, we don't have any typos and that we uh, are happy with our copy or our text, okay? So what we are going to be doing now is that we are going to download this as an image. So let's go here to download. If you want to change something like uh, the background color or the text color, you can also do it right now. So let's do it uh, just uh, to show you guys. So I'm going to click on the background, the white background, and I'm just going to change the color for this uh, pink. And then going to select the text box and I'm going to change the color for this red. So I'm going to uh, maybe make the text slightly bigger and download. You see here on the top navigation bar, there is a download button. And then I'm just going to leave the PNG uh, file type and download. So because I only have one page, I don't need to select the page. I just need to uh, click on download and let me save this here. Once you have your file on your computer, you are going to drag this image to the Canva editor and we are going to add a second page to this Canva document. So you go to add page and then you add here your image. So let's uh, collapse this uh, menu. And we have here our text, but now it's not a text, it's an image, right? So just bear this in mind because we don't have the option or the ability to uh, edit this text because it's already rendered as an image. 
Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to select the image and here on this uh, toolbar we see the effects button which wasn't there before. If we click here on the text box we see a different menu and if we click on the image we have a different menu. So here on the text we have a different uh, menu for the effects which is not the same as this effects menu. So that's why we need to download this as an image, okay? So now that we are here on the effects menu for the images, we are going to uh, search for the liquify uh, option or menu. If, if you don't... <laughs> I don't know what I can speak today. Okay. If you don't see it here, it might appear down here and you just need to click and follow Canvas steps and it's going to uh, download this application really easily into your account. This is free. So yeah, if you don't see it up here, it might be uh, down here and you just need to uh, install it. Okay, so now we are going to click here on see all and then we have a bunch of different options to distort or add an effect to our text or to our image. So let's click on any of them and you will see that we will have a preview of each of these um, effects into our text. So this is pretty cool because we have so many different options and then the one that I prefer or the one that I'm going to show you in this specific tutorial, it is the wobble, the last one you see here. So I really like this one because it is an effect or a distortion that looks fun, it looks cool, it is very trendy right now, it's kind of like a wave shape and it is also easy to read, so that's what I like about this. Uh, for example, if you check the melt option, it is like a lot going on in there, so that's why I prefer wobble. Even though you can also um, adjust each of these effects and you just need to click again on the effect selected. So let's try with the melt option. I'm going to click in on top again and then I'm just going to reduce the amount going to move this slider to the left and as you can see the effect is not as harsh as we were seeing it before so you can also play with these sliders and kind of like personalize these uh, effects so i'm just going back to these options the liquefied options and i'm going to wobble and then i'm going inside the wobble uh, settings so I'm just going to click here and then I'm just going to play around here with these sliders to make this effect a little bit more funky <laughs> and I think I'm just going to leave it like this and lastly you want to click on apply okay so you just wait a couple of seconds until this image is uploaded again to canva and now we have this distorted effect ready in our design okay so we're going to start now the second way uh, in which we are going to do the same thing but with canva pro so let's go to the first page and you are going to do exactly the same you are going to add a uh, text box and then you're going to type your text everything is exactly the same for the same steps but when we are going to be downloading this image we are going to download png and then we are going to select transparent background and if you have a canva free account you won't be able to access this option because as you can see here it has a crown that means that this feature is available for canva pro so i'm going to select it i'm going to select the first page because this is the one that uh, doesn't have the effect so let's click on done and download i'm just going to wait a little bit and i'm going to be back in a second okay so i already have my image uh, downloaded into my computer and then i'm going to add another page 
and I'm going to drag my PNG without background inside the Canva editor. Okay, so we already have our image uploaded. And as you can see, it doesn't have a background. So I'm going to change the color of the background so you can see that we can change it without any problem. And then this is the Canva Pro uh, version of the image. So if I want to change the color in the Canva free um, distorted text, I'm just going to change it. And then you see that this um, background is still there and yeah, we cannot have much freedom uh, when we are working with this free image. But with this image that we downloaded without the background, we have a lot of freedom to uh, change the background and we can also use like for example one of these videos uh, with gradients and paste it here in the background and have something cooler in my opinion okay so uh, let's remove this one just for a second and I'm going to effects I'm just going to do exactly the same steps as I showed you before and then we are going to liquify, see all, wobble, that's the option that I prefer. Just going to adjust a tiny bit here uh, these sliders, just a tiny bit like this, might be looking a little different, no, it's going to look the same, and then apply. Okay, so now that we have uh, our wobble or distorted effect into our text. I'm going back to the videos and I'm going to add this gradient video that I showed you a couple of minutes ago. But if you pay attention, my text is red and the background it's also looking red. So we cannot kind of read very well this text. So what we can do here is that we are going to effects and then uh, use the duotone effect. You can use any of the colors. I'm going to click once and twice. And on the highlights, I'm going to change to white and shadows to white. And like this, we have the text already in white and we can read it uh, pretty easily. And that's why I was telling you guys that I think the Canva Pro option has um, more options for us to change or adapt or personalize these distorted texts. Okay, and I almost forgot to mention that if you guys are interested in learning more trendy tricks that can be done in Canva, I'm going to recommend you guys a couple of tutorials up here that I think you are going to love or that you're going to like a lot. Yeah, I just think they are going to be very useful, so just go check them out. I've seen that many of you are interested in learning how to create an Instagram puzzle. So I actually would like to know how many of you would like to see this tutorial. If I see at least a hundred people letting me know that you want to see this tutorial, I'll make it for you. So I guess I see you in the comments. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add music to your designs. So if you are interested in that tutorial, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it out. And if you are already subscribed, hit the bell button. On the other hand, if you want to learn more about Canva, I'm going to leave you guys some tutorials right here that I think are going to help you a lot. And I'm leaving here an affiliate link in case that you want to try Canva Pro for free for 45 days. That is 15 days more than in Canva's website. That's it for now. I wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.